I wrote a play called Color Me Gone. I would more than anything love to see that play if I'm not in it, because uh, I think it's going to be a, a, an amazing evening in the theater. I would do this play in a heartbeat. I'm dying to do this play. I'm dying to do Color Me Gone. Edgy. Those characters in the play are, are incredible people to um, have populate your world because they're they're vivid and reckless and uh, and you know dangerous and passionate and um, those are exactly the kind of people you want to spend time with when you sit down in the theater. It's gritty. But the 70s in New York, it does have a sort of legendary quality of like that's what New York was when it was really rough. Wasn't that around the time when Ford said to City, drop dead? <laughs> Unpredictable. And I get to play Joey, Joey Flanagan, who is a Westie. Back when there were Westies. Well, when there were more Westies. And uh, this guy is, uh, he's got a bit of a temper. I would go see this play under the influence of many substances. Yeah, I played a character named GTO. That role has a lot of talking, and I had proved my ability to do a lot of talking when I was in this show called Gats. I read the entire Great Gatsby. In 1975, there was still the world of, uh, you know, there were the Blarney Rocks and the Blarney Stones sort of scattered around New York, um, which any young actor would have gone to because you could get a cheap meal. Um, I, playing Mackie, I don't know that Bruce necessarily wrote him to be an Irish bartender, but I think I felt like the language lent itself to that, and that seemed to be that guy. I read Billy Lightning in Color Me Gone. Billy Lightning is based on Johnny Thunders, who was the guitar player for um, uh, the New York Dolls, and uh, then the Heartbreakers, and uh, just um, the prototypical um, he's just a Lower East Side icon, prototypical crash and burn rocker, um, all around genius, flame out, uh, junkie hero of uh, 70s New York City. The play feels uh, rooted in a very real world of, uh, you know, this, this bar of 70s New York. It's like, uh, you know, like the Iceman cometh, you know, but uh, in Hell's Kitchen, you know, with uh, rock and rollers. Dark. It has a mysterious element to it. There's a sort of a super worldly thing that actually both feels um, magical realism and like it could actually happen. So it's uh, it's kind of wonderful that way what, what Bruce has been able to do. The style of the play is kind of like it's kind of like a great grindhouse kind of kind of seventies flick that you would want to, you know, I, I, I'm, personally, I'm really tired of going to see theater that's not entertaining, that is theater like you're going to school to learn a lesson. And this play is, is nothing if not entertaining. Like, you will have a good time.